there's problems that occur when you have no education and a ton of money and you get bored. And so I developed a 17 year cocaine and methamphetamine addiction. <laughs> I guess my adult career started in the 80s uh, working in the film industry and yeah there's there's a segue because people say oh you worked in the film industry and you have you were on the team that won the Oscar for dream girls for sound I never got into filmmaking because it was my dream my dream was I need a job to feed myself and that's literally how I got into the film industry in the 80s so it was never my dream, but for people that it is your dream, I support that dream. I think it's a wonderful place to work if that's what you want to do. It's like, I, I've always dreamed of being a physician. I was very excited to uh, get out of rehab and start this brand new life and everything. And I couldn't wait to get back to the film industry. And the last thing my counselor told me is like, oh, you can never go back to the film industry. That is the catalyst for your demise. I'm like, well, okay, then not sure what I'll do then. So I got out of rehab and I had no place to go. So my state president put me up at the Ramada Hotel till things could be figured out. And you know what, brand new me, I walked right up to the front desk at the Ramada Hotel. I said, hey, are you hiring? And I got that job. My bishop comes to me one day and says, you know, Dave, are you gonna work at the Ramada Hotel, you know, for the rest of your days? I'm like, yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, why don't you go back to school? I said, because I'm 48 years old. That's why I'm not going back to school. That just seems crazy. And he's like, no, not really. My freshman year, my very first class, my very first day, my very first college class was a math class. I knew that if I could, you know, possibly pass this math class, that, you know, everything would be okay. However, the other side of that is if I didn't do well in this class, then that would be the defining moment for me as to like, maybe this is not for me. The exam came around and I was the last person left, left in the room. The, the professor says to me, he says, Dave, you gotta, you gotta turn in your, you gotta turn in your exam. I said, no, because so much was riding on that moment, on that exam, because that was it for me. And, he says, Dave, just bring your exam up. He's like, I, I know you. You have been to every office hour that I have. You have done every homework assignment. You've done the extra assignments. You have done everything you can. I know that you are prepared. This man put his arms around me. And he said, we're, we're gonna grade your exam right now so that you can have peace of mind. And he looks at me, he says, he says, I see, I told you, you did okay. And he turns the test around and I got the high school in the class. So what I have done since I've been here at UVU, let me see. I am a Dean's Merit Scholar. I am an NSF, National Science Foundation Scholar. Do quite a bit of research that has been recognized on the national level um, by the Microbiology Association. I have partnered um, with Harvard University um, with my research, I've won the coveted BOTS, Board of Trustees Academic Award for Achievement here at UVU. I happened to notice when I was in rehab, the people that were meth heads, like myself, um, their wounds healed in a different way. I thought that was interesting. So when they asked me, you know, what I want to do my research on, immediately I said, I would like to use meth. My research involves the, um, the exploration of the protein TGF-beta in uh, macrophage cells. Now, TGF-beta is a cytokine that is responsible for wound proliferation, like it heals your wound. Like, say you get cut or you get hurt, um, immediately your body reacts. It sends like these helper cells. We call them macrophage cells. Now the macrophage cells are completely adaptable. So they go there and they're immediately able to detect what's going on. Okay, it's a cut. So we release this certain cytokine, which produces, you know, the proteins to help heal the cut. Or this is this kind of infection the body has had before. That's why they put antibodies in your body. So your macrophage cells will be able to recognize the infection when it comes. One of the amazing things about TGF beta Anybody want to take a guess of what else? If it's going towards your body for infections and wounds, what's the big deal 
wound or infection that there's really no cure for. Cancer. TGF beta cells help in metastasis of cancer cells. So if we found that we were able to interrupt the production of TGF beta, there's a possibility that we could interrupt the metastasis of cancer cells. If you do your best and you believe that you can do better, that's when things start to change. If you're unhappy with the way things are in your life or your career or your academic you know, road, change it and believe in yourself because that's the first person that's going to lead the army that will well up behind you when you do.